it's Addy van der Borg. <laughs> Good evening, Comedy Store. How are we tonight? <laughs> Crazy times. <laughs> Good to be here. We Mahelia Mike Mime. Thanks very much. Yeah. Four years at Mime School. L'école de Mime de Paris. <laughs> Was thrown out uh, for talking. <laughs> they don't muck about either when they throw you out of Mime School. So it's good to be here, and uh, I'll tell you what, I'm rubbish with technology, I'll tell you that about myself. Rubbish with technology. Um, basically, last week, my Skybox went on the blink, so what I did was I rang technical support, and what they said to me was, what you've got to do is you've got to switch it off, count to 20, mm -hmm, and then switch it back on again. <laughs> now, that seems to be the main way of dealing with technological problems in this day and age, isn't it? You know, switch it off, count to 20. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought to myself, I wonder if that would actually work for someone on a life support machine. <laughs> right, so... <laughs> so I went to visit my gran in hospital and... Uh, <laughs> Now, uh, I don't know what's been annoying me recently. There's a lot of pretentious use of language in everyday life, in little things, and I've noticed this, and I'll give you an example. Uh, a few weeks ago, the gas man came round to my flat to read my meter, and I was out, right? So what he did was, he left one of those little printed cards to say that he'd been. Now, this is probably up to you. You're out, the gas man comes round, leaves the little printed card. And what the card said on it was this. Word for word, it said, I'm sorry you were not in when I came to read your meter today. I will endeavour to return on Saturday. Hmm. <laughs> and I thought to myself, endeavour. That's bollocks, isn't it? <laughs> That's not the language of the gas man, is it? <laughs> That's more like some sort of legal document. I am duty-bound <laughs> to present myself at your abode <laughs> in order that I may make a numerical quantification <laughs> of the meter associated with the provision of natural gas within your dwelling, my lord. <laughs> <laughs> Just pop round. <laughs> Because no-one actually speaks like that in real life, do they? Oh, darling, the gas man came round today while we were out. He's going to endeavour to come back on Saturday. Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> we should endeavour to be here when he comes! <laughs> it's a nonsense, isn't it? It's the wrong context for that word, because for me, the word endeavour implies that something quite heroic has taken place, doesn't it? You know, it's like knights of old. <laughs> I think, all right, fair enough. If you're going to use that word, that's fine. But they should go the whole way, shouldn't they? Instead of putting a little printed card through the door, they should put a sealed scroll. <laughs> <laughs> you come home, you open it up, there's a handwritten note inside. <clears throat> My liege. <laughs> I did attempt to read your meter this very morn, <laughs> but was thwarted. <laughs> by a horde of barbarians at the bottom of Cranley Road. <laughs> I fought them bravely for nigh on three hours, <laughs> killing several of their number, but alas, in the end, they were too strong. And I made haste in my van. <laughs> I will endeavour to return on Saturday. This way, quickly. <laughs> <Come on. laughs> 
to the cupboard. <laughs> Beneath the stairs. It's never gonna happen, is it? Let's be honest. I think the worst offenders of all this wordy nonsense, though, has got to be estate agents, isn't it? Because uh, last year I bought a little flat and some of the bullshit that I had to wade through on estate agents' websites was phenomenal. I'll give you an example of one, right? And I actually went to see this place as well. <laughs> word for word, it went like this, right? It went... <clears throat> Although presented in good decorative order... Um... <laughs> the opportunity arises to remodel the interior. <laughs> <laughs> I went round there, it was a bomb site. <laughs> <laughs> remodel the interior is like a bomb had actually gone off in the place. Imagine them using that sort of language in a news report. Yes, Peter, it's absolute carnage here in Baghdad. And I'm standing here surrounded by houses where, quite frankly, an opportunity has arisen. <laughs> to remodel their interior. <laughs> <laughs> Went to a surprise.